Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in. The following demonstration will help you when setting up your metal detector. Because metal can be introduced at any stage of food processing, for example, grinding, cutting, trimming, mixing, a metal detector can help ensure the safety and integrity of the product as long as the equipment is being used correctly. Many food safety standards and customers require metal detection. There are three main groups of metallic components, ferrous, non-ferrous, and stainless steel. Health Canada considers anything greater than two millimeters as the threshold size for consideration as a health risk. There are many types of metal detectors, search heads, conveyor based systems, pipeline for pumped product, vertical fall, or gravity fed. For today's demonstration, we will use the Aries Extreme Metal Detector, which is a conveyor-based system. Your supplier will work with you initially to set up the machine based on your product type, fresh product, frozen, or dry product, and set up sensitivity of the machine. A metal detector needs to be calibrated at the beginning of the shift, one to two hours into production, depending on recommendations from the supplier, after breaks or lunch, and at the end of the batch. This ensures the machine sensitivity is verified and enables the operator to put only product on hold from the last verified check, rather than the entire day's production. Step one, turn on the device. Step two, Scroll through the programs and select the user profile you are going to use. Step three. Run the controlled product with no metal through the metal detector. It is important to run a controlled box through to ensure the metal detector is functioning properly and not picking up metal. Step four, place the two millimeter ferrous test wand on the box and run it through the metal detector. Depending on the size of the packaging and type of product, you may need to do this on the leading middle and trailing edge of the package. If so, repeat placing the test wand in the desired position on the package. Be sure the rejection mechanism is functioning each time. The rejection mechanism on this metal detector is an alarm noise and reject detect symbol. Record results on monitoring record. Step five, place the two millimeter non-ferrous test wand on the box and run it through the metal detector. Again, depending on the size of the packaging and type of product, you may need to do this on the leading, middle, and trailing edge of the package. Step six, place the 2.8 millimeter stainless steel test wand on the box and run it through the metal detector. If required, repeat placing the test wand in the desired position on the package. Record results on monitoring record. Step seven, run product through the metal detector to ensure the metal detector is functioning properly and not picking up metal. Record results on the monitoring record. Step eight, product is good to be sent to storage or distribution. How to run new product. Step number one, go to home screen. Step number two, choose product setup. Step number three, select the new icon. Step number four, select the desired frequency range based on the product type. Step number five, Select the desired speed based on the product and packaging type. 
Step number six, select the boundary auto setup and press start when ready. Pass a single product through the metal detector. Press the stop button when complete. Step number seven, if the settings are acceptable, select the green checkbox. If you wish to be more aggressive or conservative with the sensitivity, adjust as desired. We hope you have found this video helpful on how to set up and properly use a metal detector. For more information on quality and food safety, please go to our website. Thanks for watching.